Picking up a baby dragon can be difficult. The key is to let them know they're not in any harm. They are friends. And to never ever squeeze them. Of course, you may also be able to get them to hop right up onto your hand. But as for getting them to where you can hold them, you just do that. You do this. You can get them used to the idea of being held without actually holding them. Just merely cup around them so they can get used to it. However, as for actually picking them up, you want to put part of your finger right on their chest, just below their throat, and press just like you would with a bird, and they will go right up onto your hand. And they will be kind of skittish like this when they're young. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not squeezing them. I'm not holding him. I'm merely enclosing him. So he feels as though he's got nowhere to go. <laughs> it can be quite tiresome doing the same thing over and over. But as you continue to do that and give them a little bit of loving after every few tries, they'll eventually imprint to you and they won't become won't be as skittish anymore. And you'll actually be able to pick them up and handle them. When you go to pet your baby dragon, you want to approach from the front or the side if possible. You must remember that these, that their uh, predators, natural predators, are birds. So anything directly over their head is going to startle them, scare them, cause a fight or flight response. They particularly enjoy being scratched right behind their ear or right up underneath their jaw by their beard, as well as on their crest behind their head. Just use very, very light pressure. You don't even really have to push onto it. And as they start to get used to you, they will actually into your hand or move in order to get you to scratch in just the right place. This will help them imprint onto you. It'll also help them get used to you without causing a lot of stress from trying to pick them up. A gentler way of imprinting. 